Hello and welcome to my code coffee. In previous chapter, we learned that all nodes in Bitcoin are equal and these nodes can do all functions. But more often than not, nodes choose to take specific roles and do only limited functions. And because of that, we have different kind of nodes. In previous chapter, we discussed Bitcoin core node, full node, solo miner and SPV node. These nodes are part of main Bitcoin network, which is based on P2P protocol. So it's a peer to peer network without any central server. If a new node wants to connect to main Bitcoin network, it can connect to any node and become part of the network. But of course, any new node which wants to connect to Bitcoin main network directly should be either Bitcoin core node, full node, solo node or SPV node. But there are a few more variations in nodes which connect to main Bitcoin network through specialized servers. These servers are called pool servers because they serve a pool of nodes. So what are these nodes which do not connect to main Bitcoin network directly and instead connect to pool servers? Most popular use of pool server is that for mining. It is used by miners who don't want to maintain full blockchain. So instead of solo miners, they are called pool miners because they connect to pool server and they are dependent on pool server for mining. This type of mining is called pool mining. Pool mining is becoming more and more common because of increased complexity and competition of mining. Participants of pool mining divide their workload and also divide incentives of mining. This increases their chance of winning mining competition. How mining competition works, we will see in upcoming chapters. There are several pool server protocols, but most popular among them is a stratum protocol. Pool servers which run stratum protocol are called stratum servers. And as you can guess, nodes connecting to stratum server are called stratum nodes. If a pool miner is connecting to a stratum server, they are called stratum miners. Needless to say that in contrast to solo miners, which has P2P network router, pool miners will have pool network router and stratum miner will have stratum network router. Apart from miners, sometimes SPV node or in other words, lightweight wallets instead of connecting to Bitcoin network, connect to Stratum network. This type of SPV wallet is called SPV Stratum wallet or lightweight Stratum wallet. Of course, these SPV Stratum wallets will have Stratum network router instead of main Bitcoin P2P network router. Now, let us examine main Bitcoin network once again. What are some of the things which grabs your attention? First thing is, of course, it's a peer to peer network. And in this network, there is no server. Second thing which you might observe is that each node is connected to at least one node which has full blockchain. Third point which is worth mentioning is that SPV wallets do not connect to each other. Why? Because SPV wallets do not have full blockchain. So there is no point of connecting an SPV wallet to another SPV wallet because none of them have full blockchain. So like any other nodes, SPV nodes must also connect to at least one node which has full blockchain. This combination of main P2P network, stratum network and pool mining network is called extended Bitcoin network. There is another network called Bitcoin relay network. These relay networks are only to boost the speed of block transmission between miners. When I will cover the topic of mining, I will explain how mining is a time sensitive process. So it is very important to minimize the latency in the transmission of blocks. This is achieved by Bitcoin relay network, which provide additional connectivity between nodes with specialized needs. Remember that relay network is not a replacement of Bitcoin P2P network. It is additional connectivity to speed up block transmission for miners. As I said earlier, since main Bitcoin network is a P2P network, a new node can join this network by connecting to any node in the network. But how a new node discovers a Bitcoin network node and ultimately becomes part of Bitcoin network? This is something which we will discuss in next chapter. Hope to see you there. If you now want to move to the next chapter, you can click on this card. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way. For easy navigation to all chapters, visit mycodecoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching.